These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. The commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Okay. Yes. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Both students and teachers of the Officers' Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. Professors at the Officers' Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom even outside their respective fields. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. Professor, I've got a small favor to ask.
my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Ah, it's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries, we'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words from his kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey, now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. A good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh? In that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious. Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint. My thank you so much! Thanks so much! I have gratitude. It's about time for the battle to begin. 
Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. I'll cut through. What should I do? I'll give it my all. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. <sighs> are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not, or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. setting a very good example. Lost. The new professor is quite a commander. next well done teach I may have to take this seriously after all let's use the forest to set up an ambush I'm counting on your support everyone They're waiting in the forest. We do well to take a detour.
Are you really gonna fight two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. Victory is in sight, Black Eagles. Do not let up. Professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. You never had a chance. I'm getting stronger. I can feel it. Dimitri, it very well. I, I would expect no less. Forced to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. You fought well. Caution. Psst. 
Your princeliness. You got a thing for Edelgard, right? Come on, fess up. You'll feel better. Claude, please. This is no time for idle banter. Your defenses are wide open. And that didn't get to him, huh? What a shame. I'll find a better way to ruffle him up next time. Give it my own. Compliment me like that when my class won last year. Mindful. Coming up with brilliant schemes I can handle, no problem, but I'm not much for fighting. Go easy on me. You know that was a joke, right? Chase, not so much as a smile. do our part. Ugh, I hate losing. I guess I'll just have to settle for cheering the others on.
Should I have held back? We must all do our part. Not my day. Be mindful. nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. You fought well. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is the Blue Lion House. This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. Thank you, my friends. You did well. Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. Of course. After all, we fought hard out there. Such exertion is bound to make anyone hungry for respite. Don't you agree? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, you... Felix, you really... Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. Oh, sure. But to be honest, so am I. Let's... Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. Well, I know we only just met. I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. 
Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. this nonsense all I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible no one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail you have proven yourself worthless distracted by something so trivial I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback but now a child of the Knights former captain is in play how interesting hey this isn't what I agreed to Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Get back here! Uh, damn you! Part One White Clouds Harp String Moon Familiar Scenery As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. 
With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life? Oh, I didn't expect that. When we were mercenaries, I... Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Thank you.